Hmm, not too bad. Almost enough. And just what have you got there? Uh, nothing, nothing. Savings in the constituency office. You've got the nerve keeping such contraband on the premises. Well, it's only to get the papers and the biscuits. I've got to have something interesting in here. Well, it's the principle of the thing. If you've got it, spend it. It's the measure of a truly rich nation to spend beyond your means and create an economy based on factors not under your control as much as possible. Now give it to me. No. Give it here. You know by hoarding this you'll only betray Gordon Brown. Splurred your way through recession, he said. Give billions of pounds of foreign aid to third world dictators and nations with space programmes. And then you undermine it by keeping something for yourself. Turd. Well, you could at least give it to a charitable cause. Give it all to Labour. Don't you worry about it. We may be in multi-million pound debt, but if you give me your paltry little peasant savings, we'll be able to put it towards the running of the organisation which has dominated Britain so wisely. I've told you before, it's not going to labour. Why should I voluntarily fund our own destruction? <laughs> All right. If you don't like it going to your national benefactors, you can also consider the NHS, which is also in multi-multi-million pound debt thanks to us, mate. <laughs> it's therefore just as needy. I'll put this in the pot. You see, if you want to help your community, <laughs> you've got to give generously. If you don't, that means you're just a fascist. Vote Labour! No, I'm keeping this money. Otherwise, it'll only go down a black hole. <laughs> You're as selfish as Mrs Thatcher. All right, so what do you suggest we do? Well, we get the left-wing scumbags ejected from government and have an incoming government do all they need to do, no matter how stinging in some places, to get NHS debt down and have only the essential services funded for once. Never mind the Viagra dispensaries, countless tiers of red tape and offices funding gay sex in public parks. Oh, that's a favourite policy of mine, mate. It's for social health. Social health for perverts so they don't feel left out. No wonder dirtbags like you have learned absolutely no lessons at all with mindsets like that. <laughs> But at least that saves on being brainwashed by the reactionaries. Turd. Yeah, because I've been such a textbook Labour bloke, you could write a book about it. Yeah, I could call it Who's That Wanker? The Life and Times of an Arrogant Nation Wrecker Inside the Constituency Office. <laughs> shop owner was convicted and tagged for selling an illegal goldfish to a 14-year-old boy in a trading standard sting over animal cruelty. The sneakiness was amplified further by the kid looking at least the new legal age for buying pets, 16. It's as if the government think kids are incapable of looking after animals. And yet another nurse has hit the headlines for the heinous crime of wearing a crucifix. I suppose in trendy left politically correct happy clappy Britain, it's very important not to rock the tolerance boat by not causing offence on any flimsy pretext. Except against Christians, of course, who have to remove their paraphernalia. <laughs> well, I mean, it's tough on crime and tough on the causes of crime, isn't it, mate? This also comes at the time a new massive halal death camp complex is due to be opened in Cardiff to keep the Muslims satisfied. Yes! Go, go, tolerance and diversity, mate. 
I mean, well, well, all right, I know halal is so-called cruel, cutting an animal's throat and leaving it to die in extreme agony without even being stunned first. But you've got to think of the cultural values at stake here. Well, as long as those cultural values are not British. God! It's all to do with public order! We know who'll be more likely to cause us great trouble on the streets of Britain. Who do you think, by it? That's all wrong. Overall, the rest of the public can cause you lot greater damage at the ballot box without having to lift a single shoe or brick bat. Ah, <laughs> oh, public! Why do you always have to trample the Red Rose Garden? All we're trying to do is keep people who shouldn't be kept happy kept happy. And all we've also tried to do is spoil the enjoyment for ordinary, decent, normal people, mate. Let them feel the bitter sting of not having their own way in life, mate. Now they know what it's like to be Labour. Let them have some bloody empathy. Oh, roll on the election. We're so angry we can't get you out fast enough. <laughs> Wanted to hoist people by their own petards, mate. As I say, we're new Labour. No, no. I don't want to talk about my fate. It's far too painful. And after all I've done for you as well! Why don't you out there in the public just let people get on with what they want to do without punishing them all the time? So, people in the public want criminals punished. People in the public want Labour punished. People in the... Oh, God! <laughs> You know, I think I'll be glad to step down voluntarily at the next general election, regardless of whether I win or lose. You're only trying to put a brave face on it. No, 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 it's consistent. All right. Will you still be determined to retire if you win? Oh, well, that, that might be open to revision, because you could never say never in politics. <laughs> Bearing in mind I would have been given another vote of massive confidence by the arrogant ignorant, who know at least for once what's best for the mayor. For a bloody change. Will you never say never if you lose? Oh, well, I'm, I probably would prioritise stepping down in that case, you know, purely for health reasons. And it would be actually just symbolic, really, you know, bound to happen anyway. Because, I mean, you've got to think of the image. You can't let people like that in the public think they've won. No wonder people are so angry. I've had years of your crap in the constituency office and I'm right bloody sick of it. And I'm sick of all the other decent people getting hammered whilst crooks, perverts, control freaks and weirdos get all the cash and security. Well, <laughs> you see, public, it's irrational temper tantrums like that which stop people like you from being listened to in any conceivable manner. <laughs> I think you need some courses in anger management, mate. Stop it. I can't take any more. Oh, 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 keep calm. Just keep it calm, mate. All nice and serene. You know, just like me when I'm wearing my moccasins, you know. Typical bloody unstable bigots. I think you need another 12 years of me to put you straight. Now repeat after me for your sanity. Things can only get better. Vote like... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll make sure you go down for this. You haven't even got the excuse that you're a violent thug to get you out of proper punishment. Look, I said I was sorry. It's, it's just the people in Labour. Your behaviour's only proved just why it was right to bash your sort all the time. We expect nothing but ingratitude, so we don't bother to keep you happy in the first place. How does the public only reap what they sow? I am so right all the time. Vote like... No, 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 who I... No, 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 